Welcome to the second video of the Spring Break and how this robot actually works. Intro. robot is built upon one thing, laying dominoes. It, it's, it's the name of it. To do that, we need something called a piston. This is a piston, and basically it changes distance depending on how much this gear is moved. So this is when it's retracted, and this was when it's fully out. So we could push dominoes out at different intervals. This is where the piston lies on the robot, right in here. In this case, the gear is connected by this small gear, which gives the big piston its rotation, down in here. So when you move this, the piston goes in and out, pushing the dominoes out. Also, for this robot to be a success, it kind of has to move. Yep. So this large gear transfers its motion to the medium gear, which is on the same axle as that small gear. So, in here, that big gear turns this gear which transfers the motion going this way which is on the same axle as this small gear connected to a large gear connected to this small gear which then moves the large gear and the large gear moves the medium gear which gives the entire robot its rotation now finally we get to see this robot in action how this robot can lay dominoes. Thanks for watching and come back tomorrow for the behind the scenes video. Happy spring break guys. Um, I hope you guys are having a great spring break. I know I am. It's just these YouTube videos are really consuming up all my time. And just remember this is the second video in my series and if you still haven't seen the first video you need to get on that right now because you're supposed to watch the first one and then go to the second one. Tomorrow's the third one. Uh, I'll probably put a card or something here. And also, I have to say this, I'm still a very small channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I still need publicity. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Click on one of these. You know, YouTube is actually taking off these annotations. I like use them in almost every video. They're really helpful. All you have to do is go into the like um video settings and then annotations and then you could put these in the last twenty seconds. They're pretty cool. I'm sad that they're getting rid of them. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.